So this is like the 300th time we've tried doing this. I'm guessing that my other memory card must be full. I don't know. Maybe that's the reason. But we get like four or five minutes into the recording session and the camera just shuts off. Uh -huh. We are going to read 1 Corinthians 1, 1 through... 8. That's what I read. 8. Okay. This, this other time, but you all didn't see. Okay. All right, here we go. Chapter 1, verse 1. Paul called by the will of God to be an apostle of Jesus of Christ Jesus and our brother Sosian, Sosathenes to the church of God that is in Corinth to those sanctified by Christ Jesus, called to be saints together with all those who in every place call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, both their Lord and ours. Grace to you and peace from our God, our Father, from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Thanksgiving. I give thanks to my God always for you because of the grace of God that was given you in Christ Jesus, that in every way you were enriched in him in all speech and all knowledge, even as the testimony about Christ was confirmed among you, so that you are not lacking in any gift as you wait for the revealing of our Lord Jesus Christ, who will sustain you to the end, guiltless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, by whom you were called into the fellowship of His Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. There's your word of God for today. So... What's the, what's the breaking news? Yeah, breaking news, not breaking for us, but breaking for y'all. As you know, we've been saying that we've kind of gone through some serious stuff the past couple of weeks, and uh, yeah, we just didn't feel it was time, time to uh, let everybody know. But You finally made the choice. Yes, this morning I just sitting there thinking about it, and I actually ran across a YouTube short of a dude that uh, actually was having the exact same thing happen to him. But uh, I was let go from my job that I worked at for five and a half years. No, I'd never been in any kind of trouble. Never had, never not even up. a verbal. Nope. Not even a verbal, not uh, on time every day, there every day, work solid through the whole day. I mean, they document. Through all the elements too, mind you, snow, fall, spring, yeah, summer, outside. Yeah, the only outside. thing that keeps you out is lightning, which was very, very rare. <laughs> you know, they even keep documented of everything. Everything you do on that yard is completely documented 100% on a handheld, goes into a data system and shows what you've done, what your numbers are, how much this, how much that, blah, blah, blah. And it's all documented. You can, they could go back and look at my numbers for just... You know, a solid eight hour work every single day. So, a couple weeks ago on a Friday, on probably October about 6, two or like three o'clock in the afternoon, uh, I was called into the office out of the blue. I mean, I was just out there working. I was moving cars, getting them out of my area, straightening up everything like I did every single day. Yeah, they called me in the office and uh, they had like they had like three people from the management team on, right. on a Zoom type call. They let me go because... They put him on paid leave at this point. At that Friday. point, yeah, they put me on paid leave. But they let me go because I put a 10-second YouTube short up while I was sitting in the loader. Yeah. Didn't that tell might, you that somebody was looking for a reason? Yeah, you might remember just about three weeks ago, whenever we had a live on one of these Tuesdays, we had a live coming up. And I had forgot to post the uh, the post, you know, like we do the day before. You'll have it pop up and it'll say upcoming. Well, I forgot to do that. And my mom had let me know about midday that day that I had forgot. I was like, oh, crap, man. Well, that's okay. I'll just make a short real quick. So I stopped the loader. I got on the short, on the video, and literally it's like a 10, 11 second video where I'm just telling y'all, hey, I just let y'all know we are going live tonight at 6 p.m., be there, I forgot to put the post up, blah, blah, blah. That was it. That got me fired. The first time I've ever been in any kind of trouble in five and a half years. 
five and a half years. Like I said, no kind of trouble whatsoever. You know, and uh, pretty uh, crazy. I'm going to limit what I say, but I will say that David is the kind of man that bows no knee to anyone other than the Lord Jesus Christ if he were to stand right in front of him. Now, I know that you all realize, like, in past videos, like, I would always... You could probably just tell in me that I wasn't happy with where I was, yet I still went in and did my, it, it, to the best of my ability, 100%. I gave 100% every day. But I wasn't happy. And I don't think it was necessarily the company or the job. I was really good at the job. I loved yeah, the job. I did for five and a half years. Well, I but it was the management. So mm. they, they brought, I had been there for three years already when they brought this manager in. and. This guy is one of those kind of guys, look, anybody can be labeled a manager. Anybody. I don't matter who you are. Talk anybody about the first impression. anybody can have manager above their name. Anybody. That's fine. But not everybody can be a leader. This man is no leader by any stretch of their imagination. You know? He just don't know how to run a group of men. And he's just the kind of guy I mean it's almost like he wanted to be treated like a god. And most people will just sit back and okay whatever ignore it and just whatever everybody on that yard in the office everybody that works there they all feel the exact same way that i felt about this guy the only difference between me and them is i wasn't afraid to express that okay so and i don't want that to sound negative because it's not i don't mean it in a negative way i mean it as in i re i understand that i am called to respect the position the above position. my position I completely agree with that and understand that, and I do 100%. It don't. I do anything if as long as it falls in the lines of the work that we're doing. His job. I'll do whatever it is you tell me to do. What he gets paid for. But when it comes to respect as a man, you're on the same level as me. There's not. I don't care. I mean, I don't care. I will make. I, it's like I told everybody up there. I'll I'll work for minimum wage for the rest of my life before I move up a ladder by just kissing someone's butt. That's not who I am, and I'll never do it. He went too keen on that. So, yeah. That's what we've been going through the past couple weeks. Uh, I didn't just go in causing trouble and just talking smack and blah, 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 blah. Like, if he felt it he was, was being only, wrong, yeah, he spoke if, it. if he said something that was just sound, seemed stupid or, or just. Something out of his job description, what he, outside of what he gets paid for, not whatever. three people, not three different people's jobs. I wasn't afraid to job. say, hey, wait, wait, wait a minute. You know, no, I don't. I don't think that. Let's, you know, let's discuss this. No. No, no. It, it. He just expected full blown respect. That's what I was saying. As a man, we are on both on the same exact level. That it says it right here in this book that you treat people as you would want to be treated, and uh, you can't come treat me like I'm just some punk and expect me to just be like, oh, yes, sir. I guess that's what it was. He, he saw me as a threat. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how he figured out I had a YouTube channel. I don't know. I really don't care. But, uh, yeah, he was searching for anything he possibly he could. And digging. he found that simple YouTube short. And, yeah, that ultimately they let me go. It was a YouTube. So, which is okay. I'm, I'm applied for unemployment. I'm waiting for the response now, which I don't see why I wouldn't get it. Been there for five but, uh, years, and yeah. I believe some states it's automatic. So we're just kind of waiting for the approval on that, but we'll be okay, regardless. The, I mean, regardless, I, we were, we're leaving in May, regardless. So that that made it extremely easier than it would have been. Really accept it. If, if, if you know, if oh, if it was yeah. something that we knew was going to be. And the thing is, is when I started with this company. I felt so assured that this was it. Like, I, you know, this was, I got my foot in the door of a corporate company that. Because the company I itself can climb. is not a bad company to work for. I need to say that. It is not a bad company to work for. The workload is extremely excessive. But I know the people that I work with make it bearable. That's the other thing. Look, we've been, we were short, the whole entire five years I worked for them, we were short handed. The entire time. I think we had somebody filling keep that, that extra slot that had been empty, I think, for maybe about a year. Close to a year, maybe, is how we had it filled for that long. And uh, and he ended up leaving. And that guy ended up leaving because of the guy that got rid of me, or ended up finding a reason to get rid of me. He couldn't get rid of me because he don't have that power. So he just had to find something to give to the authority that did have the power. Yeah. 
they have gone through, I'm going to say Even roughly 15 to 20 full-time hires and temporary workers in the past year and a half. And none of them last longer than three or four weeks. And literally, uh, four or five of those were literal hire-ons. Like they went through the whole, pro and it's not an easy process. It's like a two-week process in order to get hired. Mm -hmm. And three out of those guys, three out of those guys, literally, I had conversations with the day before they quit showing up, and their exact reason for not staying at that job was because of the man that did what he did to me. Because nobody wants to work for this, you know, we call it autocratic, like, I'm the man, I'm the man in charge, and you know what I mean? Just that kind of, ad nobody wants to work for that. But it's already coming full circle on it, and I knew it would. I mean, literally, if I would, if I took a sit day back then and come back the next day, it would be in shambles. Like, and it would take me a, a day, a day and a half just to straighten everything up. Well, now it's been almost two full weeks I haven't been there. And that yard, and that's the other thing cool too, is I still got the inside scoop on everything going down. It's just flipping upside down on them. And I knew it was going to. The manager, he never went outside to help anything. Now he has been forced to be outside every single day. And when I go pick up Sammy, I just look at the yard and it's just crazy upside down. So it's already coming full circle and biting him in the butt. That's what's been going on. Now you know. But we're okay. We're all right. We're in the hands of Jesus. And it's going to be okay, man. Like I said, we were leaving in May anyways. We're moving to Kentucky, so it really is not that big of a deal. There was purpose in it. And, and you know, whenever I found out, it's the last thing because i got to go back. But whenever I figured out what he was doing, I had a peace in me. The reason why I had a peace in me because I know it's literally going to come back full circle. It's going to come back full circle, and, and we're I'm not care trying. Of. Right, I'm not. I'm not vengeance. I'm not. I'm not trying to, none of that because I have peace. No, that's because in the, the hands of God. Because it's, it's it's already biting. It says biblically, the revenge is for Him. Yeah. So my heart is full. I am at peace. I've got a lot of work on me. But it'll be we'll okay. Be all right. It'll be okay. But yeah, all right, now you guys know there's no secret no more. I am unemployed for the first time in six years, or actually about seven years because I worked at Love Walmart it. for two months. I gotta go. Right here. All right, we love you guys. Love Thank you. you for hanging out. We appreciate you. Y'all are so amazing. Peace if you out. haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Y'all know what to do. We love you guys. Until next time. Yesterday, there was sun and there was rain. 